as you come through the first thing you're going to do is make a hard right and you pull into this parking lot and there's plenty of room to park the RVs as you go in and check in in that building right in front of us now coming out of here there's two ways to go you can go to the left around the building and that was good the other day except for all the people who parked on the curb which made it very tight or you can come to the right and come out here the problem with here is these trees they're a little low down this road the campground is the first well this is the second turn off and so you turn here on the left with the RV it's really easy you just stay to the right like you normally would but then as you come in through this gate assuming nothing's coming stay to the middle because those trees on the right are a little tight it's not bad and it's not busy enough you can always wait if you go too close to it, you will scrape the top. These are not so low. They're not as bad. This is the dump station on our right. It is temporarily closed right now. However, all of the hookup, all of the sites that we've seen so far for RVs do have full hookups. come down to this major hub and to your left is a loop that is a one-way loop and then to your right is a loop. So first we'll go to the left. This is campsites, excuse me, 93 through 150 or 58. So we start in the 90s at this end. You'll see up there on the right, this is where we currently are in 99. Nice site, it's on the water, perfectly long enough. You'll see there's several class A's through here, so these, there are some long sites. There are a few in here dotted that are shorter, um, but it's easy to see when you're making reservations. This is called the West Loop. Um, and is the stuff that is um, farther into the bay. You see the signs are clearly marked. This campground was redone after Michael, I believe, yeah, after wiped out much of the trees. Hurricane Michael came through and wiped this campground out, and all of this is new. You can tell by the wooden stuff that they completely redid this campground, and they did a great job. Sites are pretty level, and they're all gravel except for the uh, handicap sites, which are concrete. The camp hosts come through and they rake the gravel um, in preparation for the next camper, uh, and they do a great job. There are several camp hosts in this campground. Um, if you look to our right here, there's some small RV, a trailer, and tent sites along the bay. Now also in front of us are campsites 125 through 146. We haven't actually been through that yet, but we'll take a tour now of this loop. There's 
some pull through sides here in the middle 127 129 smaller sights on the outside here in the corners still uh, you know they're interspersed long sights with short sights back here you see a campground host back here bit snug through here but I think the RVs could fit through here under the trees these are nice sights still with the waterfront view even though you have people in front of you now, here's some shorter sights I believe tucked into the water at the very end but they are ample sized and then some very nice tent camping all the tent hookups also have This is where we uh, crossed over into that campsite. We will rejoin the loop. You see they're dotted through. There's different kinds of pull-throughs. There's ADH. They really have all of the things uh, considered. There are multiple bathhouses. Each bathhouse has um, showers and toilets then they've got them staggered so they're being cleaned at different times so if one is done then being cleaned the others are open back there and then here is another one can you stop this just to make sure okay we'll proceed into the other uh, loop this is the section where we came in from the entrance and now we're going to the right you notice that the road has the white line so it has a walking slash bike lane there that comes in handy in this section the road's pretty wide and some of it's a little bit narrow but at least you have that lane and then when you need it for turning in or into your site um, it's helpful And since there is always somebody walking or cycling through the park, it is also helpful for when you're a pedestrian that you don't get run over. Today the temperature is 51 degrees and windy. A little bit chilly, so there's not a lot of people out moving around. Okay, so you can go forward here. If you go to the right, you can see, I mean, in both, they'll come back together. On the right, they have these um, tents with covers that are rentable through the park. And then a few um, either tent or short trailer sites. There's a bathhouse on the hill with parking in front. And a dumpster here. There was also a dumpster back at that intersection.
see there's some long fifth wheels parked in here, some Class A's. So once again, there's varying size sites. Um, I believe most sites were, uh, were created so that you could put your camper and a tent or camper and a um, screen house or something up with it. So you have a wide site. You can see there's a whole variety of different type of campers here. Here's another bathhouse. And so when you go into the other loop, you can either go forward or you can actually use this bathhouse loop um, as a way to angle your rig to go back around the loop to the to the left. There is a section in front of us, sites 43 through 56, that are currently closed. Um, they've been planting trees. See those palm trees up ahead? They've been planting those, and then we've also heard that they're waiting for um, a transformer box for the electricity for that site. So we'll be looking regularly to see when those show up because right now they're not available to rent but i imagine when they come up that they will be booked um, quite often these sites you can see are a little bit short at the front here but they are bayside um, this is the east loop that we're in these ones in the middle are pull throughs right here and then there's some more pull throughs at the as it at the other end of this when we first came in here, we were in Site 60, which we just passed. It's very similar to the 61. It was a lovely site. Okay, when we come back again, we'll be in Sites 67 and 68. 67 is right here. It's a pull-through site. Currently has a truck camper in it right now, but there's plenty of space. both those have a but there's plenty of space there and they will face the lagoon looks like a good back end site. You have an unobstructed view of the, even though you're not directly waterfront. So there's lots of nice sites in this campground. completes the loop. Leaving the campground. And there are deer wandering around. Did 
the ferry. Okay, this walkway here goes out to the pier. This is where you sign up to go out on the ferry out to Shell Island. This first um, access to the beach has actually been closed off and is not a beach access, but it is a, a place where you can um, um, view. I think probably the stairs were ripped off in one of the storms and they haven't rebuilt that yet. But it is a beautiful area to view the whole of the gulf in front of you. There's a bathhouse here, restrooms, and there's an entrance to the beach on the other side of it. And then also there is a pier store. And when we were here once before in the warmer months, they also had like a food truck here where you could get a burger and some drinks or something. And there's bathrooms of course here too. Um, there's some areas here down at the, um, so the ones that entrances we've seen so far entrance to the Gulf side. These entrances we now see are the ones that go to the little bay side or actually is to the um, the inlet side where you can see uh, Shell Island is a bit more protected. They're still doing some work and rebuilding some pavilions so some of the access areas are closed off. At least two of the access areas are with um, like the carpet or the mats that go down so they're handicapped accessible which also means they're easy access with a fishing cart. And that's how you get also to the jetty. The jetty is large rocks and pretty difficult to walk on. Not impossible, just difficult.
this right here is a camp store you can rent uh, golf carts and stuff here and buy firewood at night or when the store is closed they have an honor system for firewood firewood is ten dollars a bundle you buy it in stores at 99 Back here is the boat launch area. We have launched kayaks from here and also we did rent a pontoon boat from here one time. bathhouse, kids playground, and a pier. Just says registered campers only. I just don't know where it goes to. Oop, there, there goes, goes deer. more deer. Romeo saw them. Nobody coming. We haven't been down this road, so we'll go check it out and see what it is. <clears throat> Says registered campers only. Maybe they have. Um, well, it looks like <clears throat> it used to be a feed into the campground, but I'm not sure if it is anymore. Oh, it looks like this feeds into that area that is not open right now. So we'll turn around right here. But that's a good way. Of, that's. A, that's a good thing to be looking for if you end up in one of these sites down here once they open again.
And that's it.